Hello, my name's Claire. I'm the newest member of the team to join the clinic at WDC Physiotherapy. I am a qualified physiotherapist. I've been qualified for a year now and I started off in the NHS. I was there for about nine months and then I saw the job advert for WDC and what attracted me to the clinic was the fact that the job opportunity says you don't need NHS experience, that they are happy to have newly qualifieds, um, band fives, band sixes, um, because they like to do lots of training and mould you into the therapist that they want you to be. So more thinking about private practice rather than NHS. Obviously there's lots of differences there. So that was a really big bonus for me um, because I knew that private practice was where I wanted to be sort of long term but I was sort of made to feel that I had to go into NHS first because that was how the course was designed really for the one that I that I did at university. It's very NHS focused, you learn about the NHS constitution, the structure of the NHS and sort of where you fit into that as a brand new junior band five. So it's really eye opening to see that WDC actually didn't mind that you didn't have much NHS experience and they want to mould you into that therapist that is really um, ready for private practice. Obviously we're a lot more hands-on in the clinic than anything you, you can be in the NHS um, even if you did your MSK rotation in the NHS obviously you're under time constraints and all of those other pressures that the NHS is under at the moment so in terms of being newly qualified and your learning I think private practice is actually better you get to really work on those hands-on skills you have more time with your patients as well nothing's rushed you have the time to really get to know your patients um, and we're in a caring profession and that, that's what you want the other thing that I love about working at WDC is we have a day one and day two process so what that means is the new patients will come in you'll have the time to take with them to do a full initial assessment and then we actually send the patient away so that we have time to process that information that they've given us really delving deep into their history of their present complaint and all of their previous traumas and really analyzing and putting together um, a clear plan and diagnosis of what you feel is going on to really get to the root cause and we look at all of our patients in a really holistic way we don't just see them as a body part so if somebody comes with back pain we won't only be focusing that we'll be constantly asking what else what else what else to see if there's anything else feeding into their pain and then like I say really holistic approach thinking about the body as a whole not just as a body part so when we bring them back for that day two we will give them our presentation of all of our findings exactly what we think is going on and we'll be more accurate because we've had the time to process it obviously in the NHS they don't have the luxury of time I can tell you that from experience so having sort of 30 minutes to fully assess subjectively and objectively and then to pluck a diagnosis out of thin air when you're put on the spot because the patient is sat there with you and you, you've got that time constraint. It's never really going to be accurate. So as a, a newly qualified physiotherapist coming out of uni, actually, as much as this process benefits the patient, it actually really benefits you as well because it gives you that extra thinking time. So I absolutely love that. Additional to that is obviously the team is full of really experienced physiotherapists. Um, so having time to go away and sort of brainstorm and bounce ideas about with them as well. Again, you, you're even more accurate when you feed that information back to your patient. One more thing that I do love about working in private practice is obviously the, the clientele. The mindset of your patients is completely different. So... They're, they're coming to you willingly and they're really engaged and they want to do your exercises. They're taking your recommendations seriously. Um, so like I say, they will do your exercises. They'll take everything on board, advice that, you know, everything that you say, which is really, really nice because then for you as the therapist, you get increased job satisfaction. 
So that's something I really love about being in the clinic. And as I mentioned before, having those really experienced physiotherapists in your team, literally at your disposal, everybody's so happy to help and al al always really, really helpful, always welcoming you to go and have a chat with them and talk through patients and sharing knowledge together, which is absolutely lovely. And every week we have team meetings and it's a perfect opportunity to not only reflect on the week gone the week ahead and the month overall but also it's taking that dedicated time to have some training together so there's been so much in service training ever since I started I've learned so much and you can really utilize um, those really experienced physios and learn so much from them and it's anything that you need so it's never really a set uh, program of learning it's you know identifying your gaps and your areas that you'd really like to improve on and leading up to my job role I had lots of training even before I started which was absolutely invaluable being trained by a specialist um, you know sharing her knowledge and she put so much effort and energy into every team member which was absolutely brilliant so I felt really prepared going into the role on my first day and then ever since I've started that training has just been ongoing constantly learning new things which is absolutely fantastic and everybody's got such a different background different experiences different skills so it's so good for a newly qualified physiotherapist to have the opportunity to to learn all these things all of these real hands-on foundation skills you really feel like an actual physio it's absolutely brilliant so as i say there's lots of differences here compared to working in the nhs and i can i can tell you that from experience as I say, I was only there for about nine months. I knew I didn't really want to be there too long term. I knew that private practice was where I wanted to be. Um, I left for lots of different reasons, but one of which was lack of support as a junior and as somebody who's just stepped out of university. So being here and welcomed into this team, which is like a family, I felt nothing but support which is absolutely brilliant. So if this sounds like something that you'd like, then I would apply and definitely recommend coming to work at WDC Physiotherapy.